is certainly not the best of Wednesdays for Yanko Bature at the Supreme Court. The former top official of the AFPRC Transitional Military Council has for the past three months been at the nation's top court for arbitration after he repeatedly insisted he was immune from prosecution in his Corosisa murder trial. He said the constitution bars it. Lawyers last month took on each other for nearly two hours with the former army captain's lawyer, insisting the entire time immunity is assured. But the Supreme Court on Wednesday morning ruled against Mr. Toure. It makes it clear immunity it can be relied on when charged with the criminal offence. Doing so would encourage impunity. Top attorney Gay So, who led a group of lawyers in the case as friends of the court told the Fat Network, of the unprecedented Supreme Court judgment. Yankuba Toure is standing trial for the 1995 murder of Finance Minister Osman Karo Sise. His legal trouble came after he appeared at the TRRC in June 2019 but refused to testify. His behavior then saw the then Minister of Justice Abubakar Tamiru vowing to set an example. He was arrested by police shortly after and charged with the murder of Koro Sise. At the Supreme Court on Wednesday, the nation's top justice, led by Chief Justice Hassan B. Jalo, dismissed on Wednesday morning a claim by Toure. The constitution seals him from prosecution for any commission or omission during the two-year military transition between 1994 and 1997. In their task ruling, the three men and two women justice said the High Court had torn to the Supreme Court to determine whether the accused person is entitled to constitutional immunity from prosecution of the mother of Osman Karo Sise, pursuant to paragraph 13, 1, 3, 4, and 5 of the Second Shadow of the Republic of the Gambia, 1997. This court, having considered the oral submissions and written briefs of learned counsel for both parties and of the amicus curiae admitted by the court, finds and holds that the accused Yankuba Toure is not entitled to constitutional immunity from prosecution for the alleged murder of Osman Karo Sise, pursuant to a paragraph 13, 1, 3, 4, and 5 of the Second Schedule of the Republic of the Gambia, 1997. Reasons for the decision will be delivered by the court in due course. Accordingly, the High Court JTJ is hereby directed to proceed with the trial of the accused person as charged, the justice said. The decision by the Supreme Court means Ture must now prepare and try to convince the High Court that he is innocent.